what happened to the top gear debacle over the Tesla Roadster? Um, and this is basically where Top Gear uh, um, 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 falsely implied falsely implied that uh, the Tesla Roadster had run out of uh, energy w when they tested it, which which it didn't. Um, in fact, because the whole vehicle is a detailed computer lock, so we can see it, and um, and and then also we um, when we dropped the car off, uh, one of our guys happened to see a script sitting on the table. Um, he had already dropped the car off, and is so reading through the script, and in the script, the car breaks down. I'm like, wait a second, you wrote the script <laughs> before we even gave you the car. <laughs> um, so there's something wrong, wrong about that. This car then really was shaping up to be something wonderful. But then... Oh. Oh. Although Tesla say it'll do 200 miles, we worked out that on our track it would run out after just 55 miles. And if it does run out, it's not a quick job to charge it up again. £92,000 each. £92,000. They are three times more expensive than Elise's. It's madness. And it doesn't appear you get much in the way of reliability either. Oh, I don't believe this. The motor's overheating and I've got reduced power. While it cooled down, we went to get the silver car out again. Only to find that while it was being charged, its brakes had broken. No. So then, with the light fading, we had no cars at all. The first electric car that you might actually want to buy. It's just a shame that in the real world, it doesn't seem to work. will come down you know once what's he called Brad Cruz and Leonardo de Clooney once they've bought six, <laughs> 600 each then the price will drop and I guess once they made a few of them they'll get better at the reliability well that's as maybe but and as I aim to demonstrate later on in the show battery powered electric cars will soon die altogether no we are looking forward to that film well I am anyway and you wouldn't think it was we were hoping it wouldn't be that bad, but then when we did the Tesla IPO Roadshow, we just got one investor after another asking us why our car broke down in Top Gear. Particularly in Europe, every investor we met with in Europe asked us why our car broke down. And I was like, well, this is ridiculous. I'll never lie again. Uh, Top Gear just kept repeating that episode. What's happened? Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Perhaps.